Hi there, this is Atindra from Elva, your English learning partner. I sleep. Main sota hoon. I slept. Main soya tha. I will sleep. Main soonga. Ye tino sentences English mein tenses kehlate hain. They are part of tenses in English grammar. टेंसेस को हिंदी में काल कहते हैं और तीन प्रकार के तीन तरह के काल होते हैं भूतकाल पास्ट टेंस वर्तमान काल प्रेजेंट टेंस भविष्य काल फ्यूचर टेंस टेंसेस इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज का इंग्लिश ग्रामर का बहुत ही एक इंपॉर्टेंट हिस्सा है इसलिए बहुत जरूरी हो जाता है कि आप सही तरीके से काल को या टेंसेस को लर्न करें और उनका सही यूज करके अपनी स्पोकन इंग्लिश और रिटन इंग्लिश को और बेहतर और अच्छा बनाएं। इन माय क्लास टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट प्रेजेंट टेंस प्रेजेंट टेंस आगे चार हिस्सों में चार पार्ट्स में डिवाइडेड होते हैं सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस प्रेजेंट कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंस प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस और प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस क्या होता है सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद आर क्लास टुडे प्रेजेंट टेंस इज अ ग्रामेटिकल टर्म यूज फॉर वर्ब्स दैट डिस्क्राइब एक्शन हैपनिंग राइट नाउ फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई डांस mainly classified into four parts simple present present perfect present continuous present perfect continuous i dance i have danced i am dancing i have been dancing uses of simple present tense to describe habits or things that we do regularly we often use adverbs of frequency such as often always and sometimes we can also use expressions like every sunday or twice a month for example do you smoke i play tennis every tuesday i don't travel very often we use the present tense to talk about things in general we use it to say that something happens all the time or repeatedly or that something is true in general for example the earth goes around the sun doctors treat the patients we can also use the present simple for short actions that are happening now the actions are so so short that they are finished almost as soon as you have said the sentence this is often used with sports commentary he takes the ball he runs down the wing and he scores We use the present simple to talk about the future when we are discussing a timetable or a fixed plan. For example, school begins at 9 tomorrow. What time does the film start? The plane does not arrive at 7. The train arrives at 7:30. All these are examples of something that is going to happen in the future according to a fixed time table or a fixed plan we also use the present simple to talk about the future after words like when until after before and so and as soon as these are sometimes called subordinate clauses of time for example I will call you when I have time. I won't go out until it stops raining. We use the present simple in the first and the zero conditionals. For example, if it rains, we won't come. If you heat water to 100 degrees, it boils. 
In the present simple, the base form of the verb is the same for every subject pronoun except the third person where you add an S to the end of the verb. Take a look at the verb eat. Simple present tense. Positive sentences. I eat. You eat. With he, she and it, we add S to the verb eats. We eat, they eat, you eat. Negative sentences we add not with do and does. As in, I do not eat. He, she, it does not eat. To form quotients, we add words like where. Where do I eat? Where does he, she, it eat? Examples For fixed arrangements His mother arrives tomorrow Our holiday starts on the 26th March With future constructions She will see you before she leaves We will give it to her when she arrives For general truths Water freezes at 0 degrees. Her mother is Australian. For instructions or directions, examples are Open the packet and pour the contents into the hot water. For habits, he drinks tea at breakfast. She only eats fish. For repeated actions or events, some of the examples are we catch the bus every morning. It rains every afternoon in the hot season. Repeated actions are which ac actions which take place almost every day. Warning, be careful. The simple present is not used to express actions happening now. Third person singular. In the third person singular, the verb always ends in S. As in, he wants, she needs, he gives, she thinks. We can add ES to the verbs ending in double S, X, SH, CH. As in, he passes, she catches, he fixes. It pushes. These are some verbs as pass, catch, fix, push, which end in double S, X, SH and CH. Verbs ending in Y. The third person changes to Y, changes the Y to I, E, S as in fly, changes into flies, F, L, I, E, S. Cry changes into cries. Some exception to this rule is, if there is a vowel before the Y in the verb, we just add S. As in, play changes into plays. Pray, P-R-A-Y, changes into praise. P-R-A-Y-S. Some examples are, he goes to church every evening. She understands French. He tries very hard. She enjoys playing the guitar. Simple present tense questions. Do you play the piano? Where do you live? Does Jack play football? Where does he come from? Do Rita and Angela live in Manchester? Where do they work? In these sentences, with pronouns such as he, she, it, we have added does. Whereas with first person and third person, we add do. Forming the simple present tense to think. Affirmative, 
I think. Interrogative, do I think. Negative, I do not think. With third persons, he, she, it, we add the word does. With he, she and it, we add the word does. Does it think? Does he think? Does she think? How to form questions? We use do and does to make questions with the present simple. We use does for the third person singular, she, he, it and do for the others. We use do and does with question words like where, what and when. For example, where do Angela and Rita live? What does Angela do? When does Rita usually get up? Negative and question forms use does. That is third person of the auxiliary do plus infinitive of the verb. He wants ice cream. Does he want chocolate flavor? He does not want chocolate flavor. I hope you enjoyed the video and for further notifications do not forget to press the bell icon and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.